Hello everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at some awesome products from Car Guy Supplies. Check out what we have in store. First of all, we're gonna be looking at the Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray. I have been loving this stuff. I've been using it now for a couple of weeks. We're also gonna be looking at the Ceramic Slam and Color Crush. And then we have the Work Stuff brushes. Guys, these brushes are incredible. So we're gonna show you what these brushes can do as well as the original Wheel Woolly. This big, massive thing right here is amazing for cleaning delicate wheels. All right, buddy. All right, you gotta calm down, okay? You are way too needy. I know, you haven't seen me in like an hour. All right, guys, so we're going to be washing our own vehicle, the Sequoia. We're going to be giving it a nice wash and then cleaning up those nasty wheels using some of the Work Stuff brushes. We're gonna be using the Black Bristle Work Stuff brushes because they're a perfect combination of soft and yet still tough to use on the exterior wheels and really grungy parts. So after the wash, I'm going to be using the Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray. This is some interesting stuff. This stuff can be used as standalone protection it is an SiO2 based sealant spray. It could be used wet or dry. So I'm gonna be using it like a drying aid to dry the vehicle. So you don't dilute it, it comes ready to use. And this stuff, it smells so good. <laughs> don't drink it, don't drink it. No, no, okay, that was a mistake. Seriously guys, this stuff is awesome. It smells delicious, don't drink it. So we're gonna be using it on the paint, the plastic, everything and I've used it in the sun on dark vehicles and it doesn't streak. I know, the temperatures are not super hot and humid right now. We'll see what happens in the summertime. For now, using it on dark vehicles in the direct sunlight, it gives me no problems at all. It's very easy wipe on, wipe off. It's awesome stuff. So we'll be using that today. So let's get started cleaning these wheels first and then we'll wash the rest of the vehicle as well as the trailer. Don't forget the trailer. It's pretty gross too. As usual, the nasty front wheels of our Sequoia they get it the worst. It has some pretty heavy braking from towing the trailer, of course. Here's a tip. Always foam up your wheel bucket. I put a little bit of Meguiar's Hyperwash in there. Suds it up really, really nice. I'm gonna be using P and S Brake Buster. Now I do have two of the Work Stuff brushes in here. And I know I said I wasn't gonna use the albino orange one, but this is like an inch and a half uh, brush. It's super, super thick. To use it on the inside is just a little ridiculous, but on the wheels, it works great. It's soft, but it's still aggressive enough to really clean well. You can use it on the wheel like this. I know some guys like to do that, but you could just make life easier and get a brush like this or a stiffer bristle brush if you want to clean the tires. Now I also have the other black bristle brush and that also works really well. At getting into say the lug nut area. I'm not gonna use the wheel woolly in these I'll show you on a different vehicle. So earlier that day, we had worked on this Tesla Model X. Now it had these big chrome wheels that were covered in brake dust. So perfect opportunity to use these brushes. I'm loving this wheel woolly. It actually holds a ton of soapy water. It doesn't smush down and allows you to clean really well. I was amazed, even though it's pretty chunky, it was able to reach into that wheel and clean it really well. And unlike the other wheel brushes, you get no kickback with this at all because it's a soft brush and it doesn't have those bristles. Don't get me wrong, I love those easy detail brushes, but sometimes it can just make a big mess. This eliminates it completely. So now we're moving on to the work stuff brushes and I'm using one of the black bristle synthetic bristle brushes and this thing is amazing. Now these brushes also come in different lengths and this one was just perfect to be able to get into those lug nuts and to get into those tighter areas of these rims. And again, they're soft and yet still stiff enough to be able to work into these areas and clean really, really well. All right guys, that cleaned up the wheels 
perfectly. So this work stuff brush, perfect. Nice and soft and yet still aggressive enough to clean very effectively. And this big guy is awesome for cleaning these huge wheels. Again, very soft and yet still aggressive enough to clean really nasty wheels. This is great for wheels. Love it. All right, next up, washing the vehicle itself. Just got these new wash mitts from the rag company from Car Guy Supplies. Awesome. So thick, so nice and plush. Put in a few ounces of Meguiar's Hyperwash. You don't need much. This foams up really well. truck and the trailer are washed. They're good to go. I guess I still had a little bit of protection on here. It's beating just a little bit. So now we're going to take one of the drying towels that actually comes with the kit with the Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray, which is really nice. So these are really nice waffle weave towels. You can buy these separately on Car Guy Supplies also. They're from the rag company. So what I'm going to do is shake up the product and blew right back in my face, but it smells good. So I'm actually uh, pretty liberal with this stuff because it doesn't give me a problem at all. No streaking whatsoever. And the drying is done. Like that's it. It's super slick, nice and smooth. Really awesome stuff. Love it. Couple of squirts per panel. And this towel makes quick work of drying. That's awesome. So nice. Now does a good smelling product mean it's a good product? No, don't get hung up on if it smells good or not. The fact that it does smell good is just a plus. That's all. It just makes for a pleasant working environment. I am a fan of good smelling products, but again, that's just because I'm working with them day in and day out, and I like a product that smells good. This is making it super easy. I'm going to dry the rest of the truck, and then we'll get to the trailer. Okay, so the truck and the trailer are done, but how about our own personal vehicle? It's clean, it's been in our garage for a couple of days now, and I'm just going to treat the hood. So with the truck and the trailer, I use it as a drying aid, and it does add protection, but you can use it also dry. So just take a clean microfiber towel, I'm gonna spritz it on the towel itself, and then just apply it onto the paint and work it in. A little goes a long ways when it's on a dry surface like this, it works really well. Super, super slick. You can also spray it on the paint and then work it in with your towel. Flashes away really quick and leaves awesome gloss, great protection. So I'm just gonna hit it with some water just to see the beading. And that's pretty awesome. Sheets away really nice, leaving a dry surface. So to clean up the mess I just made, just a spritz and there you go. Just dry it and I just added some more protection. So guys, this stuff works so well. I love it. Great as a drying aid, great as a detailer and standalone protection if you just polish the paint and it's looking great. You can add this as protection. I'd probably go with a normal sealant or wax and then you can use this 
to top it or after you wash the vehicle as that maintenance protection. So great stuff. If you are gonna be using it in direct sunlight, just use a little bit. A little bit will go a long way when using it dry. If you're using it as a drying aid, the paint's already gonna be wet, so you're basically going to be diluting it with the water that's already on the paints. So it won't streak up if you're using it that way, but if you are using it dry, in direct sunlight, just use a very little bit with your towel, and you might need two towels, one to work it into the paint, and then a dry one to hand polish away any type of streaking that might happen, but it's so easy to work with. Now, how about the other two products here from Lithium? We have Color Crush, Ceramic Slam. Color Crush, we'll talk about next month. Ceramic Slam, I'm going to apply onto the door in which I already applied it. I'm just gonna add a second layer. If you check out our weekend wash, you'll see how we applied this stuff incorrectly, and the results are still amazing. I was just testing it, seeing what it could do out in the sun. I have to say it performs so well, very easy product to use. So I'm gonna reapply it on the door. So here's the door that we coated about two weeks ago with Ceramic Slam. Huge contrast between the other panels as far as gloss and depth. It actually filled and hid some of the marring that is on the doors here. It was just impressive. It actually looked like it was polished, but it is just filling, but I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna apply another application and I just sprayed it onto the towel and just work it into the paint evenly. Now you can apply it with a towel, a little applicator, whatever your choice. I'm just choosing an easy route here and using the towel. For this product, definitely use it sparingly. Now I used it in direct sunlight and actually just kind of let it sit there for a minute and it kind of hazed up and it's still wiped off with ease. So I'm impressed, I love it. Join us on the weekend washes because that's when we wash our own vehicle, test stuff, and see some new products and what they can do. This is done. When you use this stuff for yourself, oh my goodness, that's insane. That's insane. Guys, pick up a bottle of this stuff because it is incredible. It really is incredible. I, I'm loving it. Man. That's incredibly slick. All right, guys, so the lithium products I am in love with. I love all of them, except for the clay bar. Not a fan of the clay bar, but the rest of the products are really, really good. Ceramic Slam, I'm a huge fan of. Color Crush, I have yet to use, but I will be using it, and I'll let you guys know what I think of the product. I already love Ceramic Slam. Hopefully this will be a hit. But Lithium Products and Car Guy Supplies have put together a huge giveaway. So the whole month of February, they are giving away a bottle of Ceramic Slam every single day. Check out the links down below. You can win a bottle of this, or, and, and, or, you can also win a year supply of lithium products, all of their products. That is a huge giveaway. So check out the links down below. There's about eight or nine different ways to enter to win. And then in the month of March, they'll be giving away Color Crush. So that's why I'll be testing this product in the next few weeks and then get ready for the giveaway in March. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can get all these products at cardbysupplies.com. Check out the links down below. You can get the Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray, any of the lithium products, all of the Work Stuff brushes, which are amazing, and they're discounted on there as well. And you can pick up really nice towels and mitts from the Rag Company, as well as the new Wheel Wooly from as well as the new wheel woolly that is amazing. So thank you for watching guys. If you've enjoyed the video and you're loving the content, then subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. Stay safe, have a great day. We'll see you next time.